All right, we are live, guys. We're doing a jewelry jar, among other things. You have three left. Shh, you don't have to tell anybody. Nobody asked you. Got, you. <laughs> you got 103 left. <laughs> you don't know how many I have left. Jars, guys, it's jars. We're talking jars. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We do have, ooh, that's an interesting wood thing there. What's up? What? What do you need? Where's the ring? You want me to clean? Oh, I'm going to show it first. Oh, I'll put it over there in your workstation. Be careful with it, too. It's very, it's a delicate piece. Hey, Hi, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, honey. Thank you for your help today. I didn't get the water, though. I asked him to bring me water. I don't know if he's going to. Anyway, good evening, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We are here with some jewelry jars because that's what we do. That's what we like to do. We love to hunt for jewelry, and I don't know what this one entails. I see Santa. Santa always smile right there. I see this wood thing that looks really interesting. Look how they use different woods on that. It's so cute. Then I want to show you some of my rings that I'm wearing, some of the rings that I have found, and things that were sent to me, and another little bag that I won from Makeup Zombies Show. I open that one too. Why not? We ain't got nothing else to do but watch the night away, right? I wish I was a morning person, but I'm not. All my life, I have never been a morning person. I am a night owl. Have you guys seen some of those TikTok videos? There's a really cute one that reminded me of me. <laughs> Even though it hasn't quite been me, but I mean, if it could be, it would probably be me. Where it says, those days when you come late, even though you're working from home because you have to get coffee. <laughs> so you come in late to your Zoom meeting with, you know, lugging some coffee me. <laughs> That is so me because I just don't do mornings well. I wish I did, but I don't. So we're going to spend the evening together. So here we go. I hope everything is plugged in and okay. And no, it's not. Let me go grab my other cord, guys, because I don't want to lose power. Okay. We'll give everyone a chance to come in. For some reason... Some of these notifications go out really late. For me too, I get notifications really late sometimes when people have already been on for 20 minutes or 30 minutes. All right, there we go. Now I think we're good. Let me plug this in. All right, I hope that turns on the mic as well. We'll see. All right. You usually can hear me anyways. We hope everything is good. There's an extra light. Um, let's get started with the little one. Actually, let me show you the jewelry I bought. Now I'll get started with the little one. I got this, and I love it. She sold me an entire little lot. It's like 10 or 15 pieces. And she said this was jade. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're here. And let me just welcome a few of you in. I do appreciate you being here. We have 41 people here. <laughs> you do not like people. I cannot talk to anyone. for No more than just a hello. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. That's about it. Because I cannot carry on a conversation in the morning. I really, really can't. Whether I'm at work or here, it's just it's not... I don't know. I just can't function till like 10, 11 a.m. Okay. Kathy, how are you? And let me see. Tricia, Jody. Thank you, guys. Christine, Shirley, Iris, Debbie, Maricela, Tammy. And I said hello to Doug, I believe. Angela. Doug, I'm glad you're here. Cassandra, Leah, Nora, Susan Gill, Lori, how are you? Ana Ramirez, Cindy Dodds, how are you? I'm so glad you're here, Pamela and Barb as well. Kimberly Pike. All right. All right. Let me show you what I bought. 
But before that, I'm going to show you the rings I'm wearing because a lot of people are curious about the rings I'm wearing. I never get around to seeing it in the chat till later. So I'm wearing a beautiful ring that I bought also from Makeup Zombie Showcase last Sunday or two Sundays ago. I love this ring, guys. It is a bypass and it is flexible or adjustable, I guess. But I'm kind of afraid to mess with it a little bit too much because I think it really is made to fit kind of like into each other like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of reminds me of something very Miami or I don't know, just it's kind of like an exotic palm leaf, right? Oh, I love it so much. It is sterling. So I got that. And Makeup Zombie is in the chat. If you want to subscribe to her channel, please do because she puts on a showcase every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central. And then I'm wearing this one. And this was a gift from Miss Cindy Dodds as well. Beautiful sterling ring with a wonderfully faceted design on that. Then I'm wearing a gift from my beautiful friend Sandy over at Jess Andy. She does silversmithing online here on YouTube as well. Her channel is Jess Sandy. None of my video is sponsored, guys. I just really like to give people um, kudos when I, when I can and for the wonderful work that they do. But she actually handcrafted this beautiful ring for me. It is an opal. She even added a diamond, and I was just ecstatic when I got this. Uh, I think it was last Christmas, and uh, that was executed by her. Love this opal. Then this ring, I'm showing it to you, even though I showed it to you when I did that little opening uh, box unboxing the other day with the soaps and the wonderful gifts that I got from my friend Cindy Dodds over in Canada and from my friend Liz. And I'm showing it again because my sister fell in love with it last night. And I haven't shared with you guys yet, but my sister was widowed on Monday. So that was another emergency that came into the into my life. Last Monday, she was widowed, and she's she's been um, she's been down, of course. But um, you know, things have been have been happening ar around her life for for quite a while now. So anyway, she fell in love with this ring last. Year. She said, "What is that ring? It's so beautiful." And I started telling her about you and how you sent me these beautiful rings. And that it is uh, like a rose colored, just the most beautiful rose gold color. And I don't know what those stones are. They may be a very light lavender. Thank you, Cindy. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to show it in a haul again because I don't know if everybody got a really good look at it. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. And I really like the way it looks with my James Avery matching duo here because <laughs> I'm obsessed that way. This is uh, the Brutalist Designs in, in sterling and gold. So that's what I'm wearing now. And then just a little wraparound that I actually found in a jar. But this will be going to my sister this coming week. The rest is probably give it to her tomorrow. So you won't see it on me again. All right. Then I got this on on an on a online site. She sold me a beautiful little lot, guys. I was just floored. I think I paid like $18. And she said this was jade. And I have inspected it. And it definitely appears to be the, the case and um, I don't know what the brown one is but the green is definitely jade it's so beautiful it really is nice there are double knots in there can you see that it's like doubly knotted and then I don't know what the brown is but I love this necklace too just gorgeous part of the lot was also this I have never seen a ring in copper that's an actual too bad it's too big I don't even think I knew what size it was when I just I just grabbed it the lot. This is a genuine shell cameo, guys. I mean, I have looked at it through the loop. I don't know if you can see, but you usually can be able to see the, the figure itself. And you can see it quite clearly when you hold it up against the light there. See that? And it's just gorgeous. It has... Um, hi, Miss Sherry and Linda. It has fleur-de-lis on the side, which I love. This must be about a 10, I would say a 9 or a 10. And it, the only place it fits me is my thumb, but I'll probably wind up selling it only because I think it would look so beautiful on the middle finger, don't you? Or the, or the pointer finger. I just think it's so lovely. It is 100% copper. And on the inside, I could barely read it, but I did finally read the mark. And it appears to say China. It actually appears to say China. But this is the lady that I was telling you is a uh, an estate, 
hunter. She calls herself an estate hunter. So she sold um, she sold me quite a few interesting things. This is another one. I don't know what this is. I guess some kind of jasper. But it's falling into that realm of curiosity for me where these are marked Germany. This is like the third one that I find. And it's the other two I found in a jar that were some of my subscribers told me were possibly Sowarski crystal. And um, but this one has this interesting stone. I don't know. And I'm, and it's got a little bit uh, more interesting link on it, but it's just as lightweight as the other ones. And they have the same kind of clasp that's in Germany. So I thought that was interesting. This was another part of that lot. I can't even tell if this is a natural stone or if it's painted, but I love the setting of this. Silver tone really big and here's the back of it with the same pattern so i don't know if this would be um is, is that what you think it is miss kathy lace agate i was thinking that or i don't know i didn't think about uh, lace i was thinking picture but i guess that's possible and i did get a couple more pieces of agate from this lot but i left them in the other room because robert was in the middle of cleaning them but none of them appear to be in anything but base metal um, but very nice. I really thought that was very interesting. I've never, I mean, because it almost looks like a little scene, doesn't it? I almost think I see a little rabbit in there. A couple of rabbits frolicking for some reason. Anyway, love that. That was really cool. From that same lot, I also got this one, which I've never seen a painting like this either on, on Mother of Pearl. Oh, really, I mean, that is interesting. Look how precious that is. I really like that painting. I do auctions. Linda, I just don't do them on my channel. I didn't start my channel to do auctions or sales or anything like that. So I do them over on Facebook. All the information about my Facebook auctions is usually listed below in the description box of every video. So please just go on there. It's Thelma Thrift members only. Auction and sale. It's a free group, but it's a private group. So uh, you just click on agreement to all the terms, which basically is don't spam and don't sell on here. And, and uh, I meet with you guys on Saturdays at 5 p.m. every Saturday. So I do auctions. I started that a year ago. It's been a lot of fun. I may have to cancel this Saturday. I will let you guys know. I uh, have to spend some time with my family. But uh, we don't know if we're going to get together on Friday or Saturday. But I'll let you guys know. Isn't this cute? Mother of Pearl, and I also like the very nice leather cord. It's kind of a rough leather. And then this little this little button looks like bone, too. So I thought that looked interesting, too. And then look at this gorgeous Malachi. This I got at an auction. I adore it. It is sterling. The chain is fabulous. I love this. this um, I think it's called Serpentine link it's super heavy and thick and look at this gorgeous malachite guys that is a substantial piece of malachite really really nice guys one of my lights is not on let me go turn it on before we start with the rest of it my main light down here gosh i have to go through so much to turn on all these lights i'm on my knees down here sorry about that okay Let's see if that turned on. No, 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 here it is. I gotta plug in this big black cord. Sorry about that, guys. It's very unprofessional today. But I had to unplug things in order to plug in other things for my computers for work. I'm literally chasing the cord here. Okay, found it. There it goes. I knew it felt a little weird. Felt a little darker than usual. Okay, I'm back. It's not easy getting off of it, off of my knees, guys. Whew. All right, look at this gorgeous malachite. Isn't that pretty? Just love it. And I love the bale. And look, it has kind of like a little swing effect there. And then this is a little cutout. It almost looks like it had another stone in there, but it doesn't. It just kind of covers, it doesn't really move, but it just, uh, 
there. Very heavy little malachite too. All right, that was at an auction. The rest was a whole lot that I bought from this lady who sent me some wonderful gifts, including a mask. I was telling you guys what, what about customer service, right? It was awesome. And then in this, I bought like three things from her, three different lots. And um, she said they're act actually a company. So they came from different places, the lots. But they were all but under that one name. So um, she couldn't really combine shipping, but she didn't overcharge in shipping or anything. And um, she sent me a facial mask as well. <laughs> she sent me a COVID mask and she sent me a facial mask. All right, this is from Miss Liz. I won this little bag. I've won a couple of things in her auctions, and it's been a while since I've actually won a, a bag, but um, they're always a lot of fun. So let's see what's in here. Oh, these are cute. How's oh, her darling? I wish my granddaughter had her ears pierced. Maybe she will one day. They're so cute. Ooh, look at these elephants. These are gorgeous. My goodness, Liz, this is nice. Look at that. They're just acrylic. I like the the way they're carved, kind of uh, kind of slim simply, don't you think? And that is really pretty. The chain is in nice condition. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Miss Liz. You put a nice bag together here so far. And I did get the little pink monkey. I'm so excited to take it to my grandson as soon as I can see it. As soon as my daughter says it's okay, we will take it to him. It's so cute. I can't believe you found those at the, what did you say, the dollar store? They were the TY Beanie Babies. I didn't even know they were weighty either. They, they're so cute. They feel like the weight of a ceramic or something. They're darling. Okay, here's a ring. And it says Thailand on it. That's a pretty little ring. Kind of uh, crystals there. That's really pretty. Probably fit me on my ring finger for sure. Very cool. It's a little big. Probably the middle finger then. That's pretty. Almost looks like, I think this one's like a little suspension setting, right? That's cute, Liz. Love that. Okay, then we got some beads. Very pretty colors. Oh, I know, the T.Y. Beanie Babies. We have a few, quite a few. We even have a little, what they call the bed, which looks like the bunk beds, but it's like six or seven layers of it. <laughs> we still have one of those full of Beanie Babies, but we don't have a monkey. So Liz was kind enough to send me that beautiful pink monkey. Oh, this is cute, Liz. This is super nice. This almost looks like that goldstone. Has like glitter or something in that. That's precious. Hey, Patty, I'm so glad you're here. And then these bangles are cute. There's three of them. They are kind of a, kind of a marled look, like a little mother of pearl look, but kind of gray. Those are beautiful. They look really nice together. And they're kind of, I think, a bronze, actually. Or brass. Yeah, brass. That's a very nice. A nice combo there. Ooh. Crystals are always fun. Look at this long. This is like a flapper length. Very nice, Liz. Thank you. And I love this brushed one. I think I guessed. I forgot what the question was that I guessed, Liz. I think it was about the mug or something. You asked something about the mug being the same one as last week or something. I don't remember. Maybe that was it. I don't always partake in the contest, but they're fun. Oh, this is cute. Is this um, Betsy Johnson? or Looks like it has a tag. It has a bow at the end. A little crystal thing here. That's very cool. Some ribbon. Oh, I saw a little dangle. There it is. What is it? Guess. Oh, that's a guess. That is nice. 
really cute. Yeah, we've got the little woven chain and ribbon there. Cute. Then this bracelet is super nice too. And it's 925. Wow! This was a surprise bag, guys. Nobody knew who was going to win this. But Miss Liz puts together some really good grab bags. She always has. Nice, Miss Liz. I have a, um, a mesh bracelet, something like this. And um, it's got, I guess they're like tie or something. Because they all seem to have that signature type of um, finding on it. That is so cute. A little big, but cute. Yeah, see it rolls right off of me, but so nice. I may have to put that up at one of my auctions. What do they call this link? That is really nice. All right, thank you, that was pretty. And what is this, some hearts? The two crowns, oh, and then you can separate them. How cute is that? That's pretty. Oh, and a whole key too. With little rhinestones. That is so pretty. Yes, her bags are great. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, that is so cute, Liz. This is a pretty necklace. So it's layered up, guys. And it looks really cute together like that. Where's my little display? Here it is. You can always see this a little better with my... Yeah, that is super. That is really pretty. Very weighty, too. That's a nice piece. And then we have some seed beads here. Lavender color. Very nice braided piece here. I like this too. That's pretty. Black, oh yes. Feels nice and heavy. Is this on sterling too? Oh my goodness. This is a sterling finding as well. Sterling clasp on here. Very pretty graduated. That's probably onyx, don't you think, Liz? Feels like it feels cold and pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a fabulous bag, Liz. I'm going to start. I'm gonna, what Did we get picked for this one? I forgot how we worked this one. But this is nice. I hope you get your, um, you get yourself some more, uh, find, some more good finds, Liz, very soon when we open up the, the country. <laughs> We can get back to our thrifting because your bags are always wonderful. This is cute. This is a pretty one too, guys. Yes, I want it at the end. Look how cute that is. That's nice. And then look at this one with these pretty beads. Black and white beads. These are all nice. This is so pretty for summer. I love black and white. And then here's an infinity one. This looks like it's marked. Is that Chico's or Avon? Avon. Love Avon. That's pretty. It's got a little knot. infinity with little crystals or rhinestones no it's just plain oh, okay good there it is that's pretty thought it had rhinestones it looks so shiny and more necklaces is this all together thanks guys for hitting that thumbs up it looks like 82 people are here all you have to do is leave the screen for just a minute and go down below the screen there are two thumbs there. Hit the one that's pointing up. It really helps grow the channel. I do appreciate it. Okay, this is all together. This is cute. You have gunmetal. You have a Figaro chain in here. 
silver Tahitian looking pearls, faux pearls. Very cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm not going to be able to straighten this out. This is part of the chain, right? Yeah. Let me make sure. Might be a separate one. I can't quite tell if it goes in here or not. Yeah, it does because it's attached to that. But that's it. Multi strands. Very cool. Hey, Miss Donna, how are you? Byzantine really? Oh my goodness. So many cool videos out there to watch and I don't even have time to watch <laughs> the ones that I watch. Oh my goodness. This is pretty too. Black and brown, gold. Mary Ellen, welcome. A Tinkerbell. I gotta send this to my grand my granddaughter. Is it two Tinkerbells? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I know she loves um right now she's into unicorns. A lot. <laughs> Unicorns is definitely something she loves. She likes to read stories about unicorns. So I don't know if she's into Tinkerbell, but who can't who can resist Tinkerbell? Tink. She's so pretty. Is this two? I believe it's two necklaces. One for me and one for her. Yeah, that's a good idea when I go see her finally. When I go visit her, I'll tell her, look, one for you, one for me. So cute. Oh, I forgot to show you the cuff I was wearing. Oops. This one. Out of a jar, too, and signed. I still haven't looked up the artisan, but it is signed. It's copper and uh, I believe sterling. Turquoise, definitely. So that was a really good find out of a jar. Love that. Forgot to show you that. And then here's a bead ball that I got from Miss Martha's auctions. Love that, sterling as well. Really heavy, oh my gosh, I keep you around. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to do better. This is cute. This is three layers, shell. I like that accent piece there with the green. That's really cute. You bought a Tinkerbell ring? Lots of women love Tinkerbell. She's just really happy. I don't know. There's something about her. I love it, too. I love her. This is really cool. This looks like a Chico's piece to me. Something about it. This is still... The, yes, the copper cuff was out of a jar. And it's signed. I just uh, have not looked him up. And then the other day, because I follow a lot of toys... Um, Okay, it's signed A-S in three places with the initials A, A-S, yeah. It's either A-S or S-V, because here it looks like S-V, but over here, if I look at it this way, it looks like A-S. <laughs> and I saw a name pop up, and I was like, maybe that's it. I don't remember what it was, Alex or Alexander something. And then before I knew it, I had gotten into something else on the co computer and forgot to look it up. And then I can't find the page anymore. This is pretty crystals as well. This is still from Miss Liz's surprise bag that I won in uh, one of her trivia games. Oh my goodness. But she does sell these I mean, uh, what do they call them? Jewelry grab bags. She She's had them. When she gets a good um, inventory going, I'm sure she's going to be offering the bags very soon again. All right, let's start with this one. This one did come from the Goodwill for $29. It is not a current one. It was bought probably in March. I think that's Sarah Coventry already. I think I recognize that Sarah Coventry brush brooch right there. I think it's a strawberry. I think, because I know it makes it comes in a cherry too. I think I already have one. 
But yeah, this one I've had since about March, maybe even February. Because every time I would see, you know, more than two, I would get them. And sometimes the only reason I wouldn't is because I couldn't afford it. Because I would definitely grab all I could. All right. Let's let her out a little bit there. Let me put this back over there. That's for my lot. Okay. What's this? A present. Okay, that's not jewelry. It's heavy, though. Should I unwrap it? I think it's a matchbox. See, so you get this kind of stuff in here, guys. You just never know. But along with that, you'll get interesting things, too. Here's a Christmas brooch. Silver tone. Gold star. Ashley. And see, the reason that, that makes sense, too, but... The reason I thought it was this artisan that was um, highlighted in that Facebook turquoise um, lover group is because it was it was a copper cuff as well. It was a very, very nicely executed, elaborate turquoise and copper cuff. So I thought that makes a lot of sense because mine's copper too. And it had the same initials, but it was the full name where the guy was like, this is my latest, you know, my latest find or whatever. And everybody, you know, takes pictures of their their treasures. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love the colors on that. It's hearts and little chiclet sized squares there. That's pretty. This is a really cool earring. And it does have a match. How cute. I've never seen enamel earrings. Have you guys seen? I find the brooches all the time, the vintage brooches. This one still has her hair on it, but we will just get rid of that. Um, I see the brooches all the time, but I don't think I've ever ran into a pair of earrings. Not like this that looks like a brooch. I've seen others. Like, I once found this. Well, we're going everywhere tonight, aren't we, guys? I actually have these that I've had and found in the box. And these are enamel, but see, they don't really look like the brooch. But I've never seen them separate. Either. That's cute. Okay. We move on. What is this? Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Might be, um, doesn't look like ivory. Looks like celluloid. Celluloid or acrylic. I don't know. Look how thick it is. That's pretty. Definitely looks vintage with this barrel clasp. Wow, this is nice. What do you guys think of that? Let me pull a little bit. That's interesting. Look, look at that cluster of flowers. It looked like popcorn or something. That is so pretty. This is like a bead in between the two sphere beads right and then little leaves but they're all just individual beads and then they're strung together tightly to make other forms that is so cute i love that it definitely looks polynesian or something in the style but who knows interesting material i don't know it doesn't even look like celluloid actually it's probably some kind of acrylic very nice. I really love that. Okay, where are we? We have a stretch. Still nice. Has not lost its stretch. Blue. Hi, Miss John. Sherry, how are you? Miss Carla, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay. What is this? The tassels. And here's a little screw back earring that popped out of nowhere. It's marked. That's interesting. Take a look at that. Might go in my scrap pile. Let me see what it says. I have a loop right here. Fluted collar. Not gold. Not marked. 
thought it was marked. Okay, this is interesting. Just fun tassels. Very, very interesting. With bugle beads that appear to be brass. And then some seed beads in between as well. That's cute. That is really pretty. Look at this cute earring. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That's really vintage. Look at that clip. Look how different that clip is. Do we have another one? <laughs> I hope we do, because this one's really cool. Hi, Miss Linda, how are you? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, it is marked. Let's see what it says. Patent pending is what I see. Yeah, that's all it says. Patent pending, no other mark, but that is so, it looks like a little soda bottle or something. Nice. Did we get another present or did I just put it back? These were earrings, guys. <laughs> this is so cute. All right, I'll, I'll turn the other one back into an earring, I suppose. I saw you on auction, so you gave it all. Well, you're back up. Did you get up to get a drink of water, Miss Vanessa? I'm so glad you joined us because we just started on the bag. I was showing the win that I got, the Makeup Zombies uh, grab bag that I won a couple of weeks ago. I opened that, and then I showed some things that I've acquired uh, through an auction and some buys online. So we, we took about 20 minutes doing that. You didn't miss much. This is so cute. It's a little rose color rose tone charm bracelet with hearts butterflies rhinestones that's cute it's missing a little color that could be replaced that might have to go into a crafter lock because some of these charms are so cute it could go into something else okay what is this another stretch Ooh, interesting look at that that's in good condition too. Looks like it anyway. Just when I say that, it might pop when I put it on, but no, it didn't. That's pretty. Very nice. Let me see who else popped in besides our friend Vanessa. We have Nancy. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure and hit the thumbs up if you got to go. Don't forget to do it before you leave. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, this is one of the things we love to do is look at jewelry. Look at mystery jewelry jars, mystery bags that we pick up at thrift stores. So if you like to do that, I don't know where this came from, guys, but isn't it gorgeous? It's just a piece. If you like to do that, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell right there on the right as well, and you will be notified whenever I go live or whenever I put up a fresh video. No, no, this is an old bag. No, I have heard they are opening tomorrow, though. That's the rumor. See, here it is, the strawberry. I think I already have this one. Now I have two. Sarah Coventry. I think I bought one from, um, I don't remember, somebody. I think I bought one a couple of years ago. This one's in awesome condition, too. I think they make cherries, right? The strawberry and another one. Somebody told me Sarah Coventry puts that brooch out. And, oh, this is a kid's watch, I believe. Thank you, Wendy. Yes, I was showing my rings earlier because people do ask about what I'm wearing. So I showed them in the beginning of the video. This is a glass pendant. I usually take them off this ribbon. I don't know why. I just don't care for them on this ribbon. And I'll put them on another chain or a leather cord. I really prefer them that way. I have a lot of these. Some of them are super pretty. It's a nice one. Green and gold. All right, here's a nice little skinny Santa earring. Long plastic. Here's an angel. She's also an earring on a little twist back. She's playing the drums and she's wood. And this is, I don't believe this is coral. It feels like an acrylic, but I think it's supposed to look like it. That's interesting. 
Look at that. Yeah, these are all acrylic. Wow, that's an interesting one. Faux coral. Cute beads here. These are a little outstretched, so I won't even bother putting that on. I'm going to put that in a beadlock because those are nice. Okay, what is this? Sweater clips? Yeah, a little set of clips here. They look like they may have had an embellishment or they maybe they were sold that way so you could add something. I don't know, they look a little simple. That's interesting. What is this? A bracelet? Oh wow, this is like letting out powder or something when it closes. I don't know, maybe it had some other kind of thing there. That's so weird. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. It's a little mesh bracelet. Very interesting. Here is um, Real Pearls. Very interesting because I don't know if it's on stretch. No, it's not on stretch. Good. So it's Real Pearls. I don't know what that stone is. It almost looks like a dyed howlite. Look at that mess that thing made. Oh my goodness. What a big mess. That powder that was letting out. Dust is the magnetic. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm going to have to get rid of that. Anyway, these are real pearls, and I don't know if that's dyed howlite or what. They almost look like, yeah, it's some kind of dyed howlite. Almost look like the color of uh, Laramar, though. Oh, this is pretty. This is a beautiful bracelet. Those are crystals. Some rondelles there. Very nice color. I love that. That is so cute. And then here's a pretty one. This looks definitely amethyst. Amethyst beads, a little, almost like a wax seal style pendant. What is on it? Is it leaves? That looks like coral too. Doesn't it look like the coral reef or something? It says good health. Very nice. I wonder if it's sterling. It looks like sterling from, from here. It's not sticking. That's pretty and I can feel and see that it's amethyst beads for sure. I don't see any mark on the medallion at all. It's a plant. It looks like a sea plant. Some kind of a sea life there. I don't know. That's pretty. It's big on me, but very nice. All right, what is this? Charms? Cute. Charm bracelet. A fork. Oh, how cute. Someone in the restaurant business. My goodness. My brother-in-law was in the restaurant business. I'm going to take it as a sign. Hello. Look at that. That is so cute. This one, I think, had a spinner on it. It says, yes, no. Yes, love. Yes, love, no. Something else. And there's a ladder and a heart. I think these are like little stainless steel ones, actually. Is that an ashtray? Oh my gosh, how cool is that? <laughs> that looked like a Scottish what? A Scottish thistle to me. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Well, it says good health. Is that what uh, thistles mean? Possible. I love this bracelet, guys. It's got a little skeleton key. Little box clasp. Oh, I just love charm bracelets. Yeah, I think it's stainless. It actually looks like it. <laughs> Two knives, a fork. What is this? A, a ladder? Cheese grater? <laughs> it's articulated, too. Can you guys see that? These are the cutest charms. Oh, I love that. That <laughs> is so precious. I'm really loving the ashtray. I used to collect ashtrays. I still have a few favorites, but uh, I was really into them, and I sold some of them <laughs> on eBay, of course. 
This is a nice little hammered earring. And uh, no, that's the Tinker Bell. I saw that earlier. Here is a leather. It's a bracelet. It's like a wraparound bracelet with a toggle. It's not sterling. I think that's a Jasper bead. Yeah, not bad for $29. And we are not even done. We just started. Look at this. This is gold tone and um, yellow and gold tone there. Silver tone. Very cool. All right, let me move some of these bracelets over here and make some room to pour out some. I think that's a um, wine ID, if I'm not mistaken, or is it an earring? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's see what else comes out. So exciting. Another Santa brooch or Christmas brooch. This one's cute. He slipped. That one's very nice. Uh, an angel earring. Quite a few Christmas items here. Cameos for crafting. Nice. Three cameos in a bag. Those are nice. They're really pretty, yeah. Those would look nice on a choker. People like to make jewelry. Here's another brooch. It's a pup. He's cute. He's got black enamel on his ears. Red tongue, red collar. Riveted. Very heavy. That is so cute. He looks like a Disney character. I don't know which one. That's nice. I always like getting brooches. Have a good night, Linda Lou. This is cute. Yellow. They're acrylic. Little yellow necklace. Some bangles. These are very nice little bangles. They are for uh, very small wrists or for a child. And they are glass. Very exotic. Pink. Gold. Kind of just splattered with glitter there. Nice. Here's a bunny brooch made out of wood. Here are some very nice beads. I think this is coral. What do you think, Jude? Look at it. It's very cool. It's got one of these really vintage looking clasp. I love these clasps. Yeah, I think this is kind of an angel skin coral. Look at that, and it's graduated too, and it feels cold. And it's got just a touch of blush. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, that is very nice. There's been some really nice vintage items in these bags. Yeah, you see how you can just see a little pink or blush around some of the beads. Angel skin coral. That is so nice. And probably, um, it's probably like a gold filled or something because it has a gold color. That's awesome. And this is kind of the coral that I found last time, but uh, not graduated beads like this. This is pretty. Love that. Okay, this was an earring, guys. They were earrings, but they... Oh, how precious are these rhinestones. I really need to learn to solder and fix costume jewelry. What a shame. These are gorgeous. Those are some pretty earrings. But one of the backs is missing. Oh, my goodness. This is a real penny on this charm bracelet. And they, they spray painted it gold. And then they put, what is this, a bank? What is this? Oh, it's wishing wells. That is so cute. Right? Yeah, no, well, like, yeah, wishing wells, water wells. 
Oh my gosh, is that a Texas charm in there too? No, what is that? There's something, that is so cute. I don't know if that belongs in there. I think that just got tangled up. Or they, because that definitely looks, okay. They added some charms here. Someone was just having so much fun with their jewelry. They added a road runner. They added a Roadrunner and they added Texas. Oh, I love it. I don't know. Oh, that is so cute. That is a darling charm bracelet. And then it's got the penny, but they painted it gold. And they put it in a bezel. Love this charm bracelet. That is cute. Very nice. We've already been on an hour. Oh, this is pretty. Abalone. This looks like a Chico's for some reason to me. Oh, very nice. This is uh, leather, but it's gold tone color. Silver tone, I'm sorry. More like pewter, actually. Really nice. Wow, this is cute. Look at that beautiful setting on that abalone. That's really nice. That's a nice one. Boy, this bag is awesome. Here's a cute bangle, very heavy. And it's got some interesting work on it. You can feel it. Black, very nice bangle. That's awesome. Okay, what else? This is a drawstring. No, it's a stretch of some kind. I don't know, it seems really big for a bracelet. So I'm not sure what it is. Acrylic silver tone. Here are some shells. Shell necklace. And a barrel clasp. That's pretty. Very nice as well. Okay. And then this is an awareness key ring. This is nice. These are acrylic. Big chunky beads. That's pretty. Let me pull you down just a tad. Okay, this is a little dirty. Lots of vertigree on this, and it's so heavy and nice. What a shame. Look at that. I'm going to have to isolate this one. Definitely. But it's so pretty. I hope I can get it clean. If not, I'm going to have to recycle it. But these are darling. They actually look like ribbon. But they're metal. It's a long necklace. No marking on it. It looks vintage. Very, very nice. Here's a cute butterfly. What is this, a brooch? I don't know. Look at this, guys. Made in India. Maybe it was on some kind of choker. This one is from a thrift store. It was a bag for $29.99. I had no idea what was in it until now. And we're in the middle of opening, opening it. This is so cute. National Wildlife Refugee System. It's got some scatter pins or some kind of um, tack pins there. That's so nice. I love these. I guess they came all together, but that's pretty. Here's a silver bangle. Does not appear to be sterling. Here is a... Um, this looks like sterling because of the patina on it to, in my eyes and I believe it is yes it is sterling 
I don't know what these stones are. They look kind of like a tiger's eye, rather a cat's eye. It's kind of what they look like to me because they are black, but they have a little bit of marling or something kind of white in them too, and that is sterling. Nice little cobra chain on that, or is that cobra or a snake? I think this is called a snake. Very nice. So we did find sterling. Hey, we found the vintage earrings. They're so awesome. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These have to be 50s. They have to be 50s. They are amazing. That is really, really nice. I'm so happy I found the mate. That makes me happy. Okay, what's in here? A little bag of uh, stones. Let me see what comes out of here. I don't think they're mod 60s, Carla, only because of the clip. The clip really looks older than, than anything I, I've seen from the 60s. Look at these guys. We have Goldstone in there. I think it's called gold, Goldstone, right? This one right here. It looks like it has glitter. And then some agate for sure. So nice. I don't know what the orange one is. Probably an agate, too. So that's nice. Yeah. Little statement necklace. Neon. Rhinestone. Nice. I get lots of clip-ons, yes. Get more pierced, but I do get the clip-ons. Some, some kind of shell. That'll go into my hippie lot. That's where I put those for some reason. And some beads on a string. Nothing really came of those. Here's a cute watch. Very nice color. No name on it. And then, oh my gosh, I want to dig in, right? But then I pick up a tingle. Let me go ahead and dump the bag out. It looks like we're going to run into some tangles regardless. we got a whole box of uh, posts here. A little card, rather. Some match, some not. Got a velvet choker. Very filthy actually so don't know we'll probably have to recycle that oh look at this one of these little nesting Russian dolls and it's so cute it is wood doesn't open it's just a key ring a little vintage key ring that is cute a little Christmas brooch We got a torque of some kind. It, oh, interesting. Look at that. I wonder if this is sterling. It seems to be made pretty nicely. Not sticking. If it doesn't stick to the magnet, it sometimes means it's sterling. Not always. It's just a preliminary test. But it doesn't appear to be sterling to me. It really looks more like a stainless or just some kind of base metal. Here's a little caged heart. Very nice. Maybe a charm. I don't know because it looks like it would have been a charm. That doll is so cute. Here is, oh my gosh, another interesting earring. This one's marked though. And this one says Napier. Look how pretty that is. And it's matched, yay! I love when that happens. 
Look how pretty those are. Those are very different clip-ons. Those are cute. Really good condition too. And they're Mark Napier in there. Wow, these are cute. I like those. I'm trying to find where I have all my match earrings. Okay, I'm gonna put them here for now. Here are some pearls or just seed beads. Yeah, just seed beads. Those earrings look very exotic, didn't they? I thought they were going to be from something else. I didn't expect to see Napier. This is, um, I think, silver tone. It looks like the stone in the middle fell out. I believe it's just silver tone. Little ring there. Cute. And what is this? Is this sterling too? Liquid silver. I think this is sterling. Let me look at the mark on the jump ring. Yes, it is marked 925. And let me take a look at these beads because they look like lapis and they are indeed. Petrified wood. I have found petrified wood. I find it so interesting. I found some rings, yes. That's a very, very nice necklace. I love that. Liquid silver with lapis, it is sterling. And liquid silver refers to these teeny tiny little bugle beads that when they're strung together with a whole lot of other strands, usually without the beads, they really look like liquid silver. They offer fabulous, fabulous brilliance. So they do not take kindly to patina. Forget about not cleaning your silver. This one's in good condition. On certain items, they should be cleaned. Ooh, this is a pretty bracelet. Concho style. I think it's just silver tone, but it's so cute. That is so pretty. Let me look at the loop. Let me look at this one anyway, just to make sure. Yeah, it's just silver tone, but it's so pretty. That is darling. Little concho links. I got a lot of little bangles here. Gold, silver. None of them appear to be precious metals. They look very nice together. They are in good condition. So that's nice. Here's an earring that came out. And I do have a couple more bags. This is 925. It, it's bent right there, but I can always bend that back. And it looks like onyx and marcasite. So I hope I find the other one. It's a very pretty earring post. Very nice. Here's that Santa brooch we were looking at. It actually sold for $1. Hmm. Very cute. <laughs> I like that. Oh, these are cute. These are also matched. They're like an enamel. They don't look very expensive or anything, but I, they're not very tinny or anything. They are, you know, of good weight. I just love the little jewel tones. They're very pretty. I think they look nice. Some beads. What is this? Oh, another one of these. I, I forgot what they're called. The little Chinese worry beads or something right look at that beautiful painting of the sun on this one they do have the little bells what a beautiful sound i don't think i've heard one that sounds so nice can you guys hear it they sound really pretty i love this one beautiful green and um i think it's like a sun with a, maybe a third eye there you think very nice. Interesting things in this bag for sure, right guys? This is a broken piece of something. It's just, I don't know, it had something there. It came off. It's very heavy, gold tone. We have a strap. You see what I mean? We see the jump too, guys. It's not all fun and games here. Geneva. 
not all fun and games. But when we score, we really score. And it has been a very interesting jar. This is an awesome watch. It's very heavy bracelet style. Very heavy. I really like the face of this watch. I wouldn't mind putting it on another band. It's pretty. All right, here's an interesting earring part. Here is a um, cable style bracelet. Very nice. Magnet as well. Kind of has a pave setting. I mean, a, a pave of um, rhinestones or crystals. I don't see any kind of a mark on it. Looks like it could be. There you go. It is sticking. I was going to say stainless, but I don't think stainless is magnetic. But that's a nice bracelet. Very pretty. Makes a nice stacker piece. Yeah, I like that. Good condition too. All right, we did find the other angel. So we do have a matching earring on the angels. Oh my goodness. Somebody's speeding down the road. Did y'all hear that? Speeding car. These are so cute, guys. These are also clip. They are the cutest neon pink. Oh my gosh. These are cute. Very pretty. They're like an inch hoop. Kind of wide. And just the prettiest pink ever. Neon. All right, so here is the bead that I thought was just a bead, but it was actually an earring. And it also looks like it had other pieces. And this is marked, probably patent pending as well. Let me see what it says. You heard it? It's loud. I was hoping they wouldn't hit my mailbox. My neighbor's kid um, hit his mailbox a few years ago. It says Hong Kong. A few years ago when he was a crazy teenager. Now he's a married man of two children. Finally settled down. <laughs> yeah, but he had had one of those nights, I guess. This is a, a very interesting ring, guys. It's adjustable. It is dirty, but it's leather. Some tooled leather on there. So, and it almost looks like um, tie-dye. Or remember those carnival games we used to play? I don't know if you guys did, but when you'd pour that paint and it would twirl and twirl and twirl, you thought you made a masterpiece? That's what it looks like. Yep. More earring pieces there. The other... It looks like a carrot to you. <laughs> Everybody sees something. All right, we did get a match on this one, though the other one is missing the little... Well, it's somewhere because I saw it come out on a necklace. These are really cute earrings. They're enameled and they're very weighty, actually. I don't think they'd be uncomfortable, but they're very pretty. Here it is. So it just needs the, the other one. I may have put those on post. Those would be cute. The colors are so pretty. More pieces, pieces, stretch bracelet, just beads basically. This is a nice pendant. Silver tone, gold tone, kind of uh, nail head design. Here's a wood bangle. Nice size too, not, over, not overly big. Sometimes the bangles don't fit anyone. This is really a nice one. I like the different woods on this. Very, very nice. That's really pretty. All right, we have a silver chain, just a plain lightweight chain, not very heavy at all. Silver tone. We have, um, I don't know. I guess she's a doll. Piece of a doll. She's got a little name, a number on it. And she's got holes like she should be sewn on to something. Porcelain, obviously. Very interesting. She's got kind of a hat and a very tall hairdo there. Got some of these little event pens or something. 
Can't even read it. I don't know what it says. Another watch. Oh, this one glows in the quite a bit. Is this about to pop off? It is broken everywhere. Such a pretty face, too. It's like a neon blue. No name on it at all. It just says quartz. Oh, it is um, Charles Raymond. I don't know. Probably just a cheap brand. And then we have a very nice little brooch. Music. Music pins by Lucinda. She also makes house pins, right? I've seen this name many times. <laughs> in the jewelry jars. Many times. Boy, we're taking forever in this bag, guys. You asked for it, you got it. A long video. <laughs> this is cute, too. These are also clip-on. Neon pink. Wow. These are so interesting. Definitely lots of pink earrings there. And then we've got some wire here. Oh, I hope it comes out without much effort here. Yes, nice. And there's a chain in there. All right, we've got some pearls. I'm going to wrap that up into a bag. So, you collect the Lucinda pins? Really? Oh my goodness. I'll have to start a, a lot. Because I have run into the ones that say house pins, Lucinda house pins, but I've never seen those. Another one earring, American flag pin, a circle pin. No, no, it's not a circle pin. It's a rhinestone. <gasps> Pretty. This is a vintage brooch. Very nice. A little black oval cut stone there. The rest are round. And you can tell it's vintage just by the back of the rhinestones. Something about them. I can't even describe why, but you can tell it's vintage. Very nice. I'll have to clean that one up. It'll probably clean up nicely. All right, here is, um, I believe these are gemstones. This is marked here with a tag no mark just the tag I don't think this is sterling but these are definitely little gemstones looks like a cat eye I'm not sure what this one is and rose quartz lots of quartz in here I believe I'm not sure what that purple one is it's really opaque could be amethyst, but it just doesn't strike me as amethyst. I'm not sure, but that's a beautiful brace. I mean, necklace. I really like the drop here with the little kind of like a cat eye. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but that's beautiful. Here is more liquid silver on an extension here. And, um, oh, these are nice. These are little beads. I don't know if they're all silver because I don't see any kind of mark. So let me get my magnet and see what happens. Nothing is sticking. Is the extender sticking? Not even the extender sticking. Very likely sterling then. This is definitely liquid silver. This is pretty. I've never seen one like this with this design. Hey Miss Dawn, how are you? I have not seen one like this at all. This is an extensive bag. How long have we been here, guys? And we're not done yet. Hang with me. Let me see how many. 140 people, 70 thumbs up. I know a few of them will be down, so you've got to compensate and go over there and hit the thumbs up. You just have to leave the chat for a minute over by the screen. There are two thumbs. This is amazing. I hope I find the other one. There are two thumbs. Be sure and hit the one that is pointing up. I believe, I don't know what they call this kind of opal. I believe it's a man-made opal. I forget what they call it. It's got a fancy name, but I believe it's a man-made opal. Isn't this gorgeous? It's on sterling. It's like a little swirl earring. I love it. I have a ring like this with this man-made opal. It's such a beautiful color. I really, really love it. Gorgeous. And I hope I find the other one. Where did I put it? I'm going to put it over here. So just in case I find the other one. 
house projects. <laughs> this is a cute one. It's just a tassel. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, blue. This matches that bracelet. Someone got busy. Someone got busy for sure. Very nice. And then, I think this is Chico's. It so looks like Chico's. And Chico's is, um, oh, please don't worry about that at all, Maury. That was not your fault. And um, that person was big enough to apologize herself today in the other auction that she had today. So she's a wonderful stand-up woman. I will say that. I say I got to have, you know, hats my hat off to anyone who can apologize for doing something wrong like that or for thinking that, that she had maybe jumped the gun on something. So not a problem. Please don't. Don't even think about it. Like I told her yesterday was yesterday. It's over. I do appreciate it, though. This is pretty Timex. I don't know why I think it's pretty, but I just love the simple watch. <laughs> I think it brings me back to my childhood, and I love Timex watches. Remember when they would sell them at the at the drugstores? I think this is like that composite turquoise, that what they call purple turquoise. It's a nice earring. Very nice earring. So I appreciate it very much. Maury, you're so sweet. Look at this. They are matched. And they are purple. They are so cute. I'm going to be doing a um, video soon, guys. They sent me this purple shampoo. And I'm going to show you my hair tomorrow or the day after. Because I think it takes a process. <laughs> I said I would do it. Because I love purple shampoos. They, um, they take the, you know, the brassiness or whatever out of out of hair white hair or blonde hair that can turn that way with hard water or whatnot so I have to do that I'm so excited but I'm thinking will my hair turn purple because it does have a warning sign on there these are gorgeous stretch it has a little warning thing that if it starts turning purple just go ahead and go back to your regular shampoo for a while so you guys might see me with some lavender colored hair like this wouldn't that be interesting We'll see. But anyway, if any of you are blonde, you might want to take advantage of that when I when I share the discount links and all of that. That'll be coming soon. Oh, these are nice and paired already. And they are glass. <laughs> Cold tone. Yikes. <laughs> I know, I know. But it happens with those purple shampoos, with all of them. It really does. If you don't, you, you're actually not supposed to use it every day that's the problem people use use it like regular shampoo and you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to alternate between regular clarifying shampoos and then the purpley ones otherwise you can run into that it's basically it's got like a toner in it right so i don't know i've never tried one i will i am game for anything it's only hair it grows back i cut my own hair guys believe me i don't care all right look at this this is cute I feel like I should be on the beach with a fancy drink and a straw that looks like a, what is it? An umbrella, some pineapples. Oh, that's pretty. That is so cute. I think this matches the necklace we picked out earlier. Remember that green accent piece? I think it does. It's gonna be like a two hour video, guys. You're gonna be able to Go for a snack and take a shower. By the time you come back, it'll still be on. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this other necklace over here. Blue hair, no ladies, I know. No, it's not going to get that way, really, because I use other blue shampoos. I do. And um, I use them alternately the way you're supposed to. And all I have seen... Once it did turn that way, but my hairdresser told me it was because I wasn't rinsing it thoroughly. Because it was only at the top of my head. And so I started listening to her. <laughs> and rinsing over and over and over again. So, uh, and using it every other, or every third or fourth shampoo. So, but it does keep, because I've seen women whose hair start turning, when their hair is white, and I'm not talking salt and pepper. It doesn't really happen to salt and pepper. Believe me, if my hair was salt and pepper, I'd be dyeing it still. But people with white hair, it can turn 
really, really dull yellowy. Not blonde, pretty blonde yellow, but weird yellow. I've seen it happen. So this keeps it from happening. All right, we have a stretch. I'm still trying to get to this one, which is tangled with this one. And here's a sterling chain, nice one. Oh my gosh, I love getting sterling chains. This is a long one too. People are always needing the longer chains. I, in my auction that I do only on Facebook, they're always asking me for 20 inch or more. And this is, this is probably 20 to 24 inch box chain in sterling silver. There is the Italian mark there, or unless it's, yeah, it's Italian. I was going to say, unless it's Avery, but I don't know Avery to do box chains. No, that's Italian. 925. Nice, I like that. What a great bag so far. We're almost done. We're almost done. Got a few pieces left. But wow, it's been so fabulous. I don't think there's just been a few dirty pieces in here, but... So many vintage pieces in here that were interesting. I just can't even believe it. And see, this has like agates down here, which I'm loving. But I think this is a separate necklace. Let me see here. Did Vanessa go off to bed again? She hates the night. She's not a night owl. She's not a night owl like the rest of us here. I was talking to someone in the chat or listening to someone in a chat today who was saying that they get up like every every two to four hours and just do work and then go back to sleep. And then <laughs> we're self-employed or retired or whatever. You can do that. And then with me being working at home, you know, in that position right now, working from home, I'm the same way. It's crazy. I don't know how I'm going to acclimate myself back. If we ever get back to our school building. All right. This is so interesting. Look at this. It's got such an asymmetric. <laughs> yes, Vanessa. I'm going to call you early in the morning, Vanessa. Maybe we can have... You should call me. Because <laughs> I'm probably still... Tossing and turning. This is so pretty. It's gunmetal. Look at this. Look at the beads. They're just beautiful. Yes. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. You're right, Jude. No people in the morning. But I think Vanessa likes being with, with her plants and animals. <laughs> when she gets another one. Oh, look how pretty these are. She used to have Buddy. Then precious little bean. You'll get another buddy soon, Miss Vanessa. I know you will. Oh my gosh, this is a nice necklace, guys. I like it. All right. I, I don't know. It looks like sterling. It might be. Let me check. It looked like gunmetal, but maybe it's just patinaed. We are just going on and on and on. This video will never end. We're going on two hours now. We're at 83 minutes. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't see a mark, <clears throat> so it may not be sterling. But it kind of looked like it. And look, it doesn't even stick. It might be that blackened. Yeah, it could be. That blackened sterling. That someone told me was so popular. I forgot where. Australia. Black and silver and gold they do. All right, here's another illusion. This is a pretty one with shells. Earth tones. Very cool. Very, very cool. I believe we are at the end of our road. I think we're done. Oh my goodness, now i got to clean up this table and uh, get it ready for work, <laughs> for my schoolwork tomorrow. Yes, I have it all around me. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out. I do appreciate when you do that. It helps grow the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you very soon. We're going to go see if the Goodwill is opened up tomorrow. Oh, we did get a match on this one. If the Goodwills open up tomorrow, I'll take you live or I'll bring you a haul. I have to show you all the fabulous handbags I found at the thrift store yesterday that was open. So that was gonna, that's going to be a good haul. Oh, and this was a um, pendant. So I'm super excited about things opening up. Definitely being cautious. Is this amber or what? Yes, it is. 
Oh my gosh. It is amber, guys. I think it's 9252. Looks like a mark right there. Can you see it? I am going to look around and see if I, if I find the other one in this abyss. And if not, maybe we'll find it in another jar. And then look, here's some Black Hills Gold. Oh my gosh, just when I thought I was shutting down. This is Black Hills Gold. <laughs> You're welcome. Have a good night. I'm going to keep searching here. Of course, I'll bring you an update of anything I see lying around here. Because look. Everything always falls through the cracks, too. Look at these. These are stars. Cute. Star earrings. Oh, my gosh. But it is going on two hours, I think, already. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. I'll bring you another video soon. Love you so much. Bye-bye.